Today we're going to have a look at how Padre Pio assists one of his spiritual children, those close to him, and if they follow his advice, we can see it leads all the way to sanctity. Hello friends of Following Padre Pio. On this channel, we have a series of short stories on the life of our great saint, Padre Pio, who was a Capuchin monk, he was a mystic, he was a miracle worker. Do stay tuned to this channel to find out more about Padre Pio and also to find out what his intercession can do for you. And if you're new to our channel, then please do subscribe to our channel and help us with our apostolate by sharing and liking our videos. Our story begins with this lady called Maria Gargani and she became known as Sister Mary Crucified for Divine Love. And she was the founder of the Apostles of the Sacred Heart. And briefly a bit about her background. She was born in 1892 in Mora Irpino and that is in Italy. And she died in 1973 in Naples and that was a few years after Padre Pio passed away. Now, Maria Gargani dedicated her life to the apostolate, especially with those who were most neglected and without religious or social support. So she specialized in that area. And through her apostolate, through these works that she did, she gained the admiration and the support of those around her. So now, what is the connection to Padre Pio here? Well, initially, Maria joined this group called Mystica Britannia. It was a community of consecrated women who were seeking perfection. And it was linked to Padre Pio through the Capuchin Monastery. Now, Mystica Britannia fell under a Father Augustino of San Marco in La Mis. That's his complete name. And in this time, Father Augustino was also the spiritual director of Padre Pio. So we can see the connection to Padre Pio forming there. This is through Father Augustino. And then in 1915, Maria Gargani was now introduced or she got to meet Padre Pio. And Padre Pio accepted her as one of his spiritual daughters, one of his spiritual children. So Padre Pio, from this time on, advised her. The first thing he advised her was not to join or not to enter a religious order. It seemed to be her dream. So he is advising her, don't join immediately. He wanted her better to discern where her life was meant to lead and what the will of God was for her. Now, Maria Gargani, she was a teacher, um, that was her profession, but she also became more actively involved in various other Catholic things. So she joined Catholic Action, that was the first thing. She also became a Third Order Franciscan, and she organized Sacred Heart of Jesus works in the seminary of Lucerna. So she was pretty actively involved in all of these things. And in all of this, Maria always sought out the guidance of Padre Pio. So step by step, he helped her through this whole process. And then through the time, so gradually, slowly, she came to this conclusion. She had an aspiration within her developing. And one day she discussed this growing aspiration with Padre Pio to found a new institute which would work with people in areas where there were no priests available. So that's where she was discerning, where she was being called to. And Padre Pio's response was, finally, this is where we had to go. This is God's will for you. So in 1934, with the permission of the local bishop of Lucerna, Maria Gorgano moved with some companions to the former monastery. So she was given this monastery, Santa Maria della Salute in Apula. So she was given this monastery, they moved in there and they started their congregation. Just two years later, the congregation of the Apostles of the Sacred Heart was recognized by the church. So she had spent many years with Padre Pio, forming herself, discerning, and then in just two years, she already had this congrega congregation recognized by the church. Now, between 1936 and 1944, she founded her religious profession. 
and she took the name Maria Crucified for Divine Love or of Divine Love. And she defined the charism of her con congregation as follows. It was to be a parish apostolate. So that is working within the parish and doing various things like catechism, catechesis and distribution of the good press, as they called it, which is good books, good religious books and articles. So they were involved in that, plus the foundation of various schools for the young. And that was their charism, their mission. And it seemed that God liked this because he blessed them with many vocations. And in 1946, they had grown so much that, that they had to move the center, the seat, to Naples, there to the Society of the Apostles of the Sacred Heart. That became their center, their headquarters, we could say. And then from there, their organization spread to various other regions throughout Italy and also into Africa. And now looking at the end of her life, Mother Maria, as she was known now, she died on the 23rd of May, that is 1973, and she was 81 years old in Naples at the time. And that wasn't too many years after Padre Pio had passed away. And then in 2018, she was beatified in a huge celebration, and this was presided over by Cardinal Angelo Amata who was prefect for the causes of saints. So we can see that right from the beginning, Padre Pio had guided Mother Maria Gargani. He had helped her to discern what her vocation actually was. And then when she recognized her vocation, she went right for it all the way to sanctity. And Padre Pio helped and guided her in this whole process. And if you are new to our channel, then do subscribe to our channel and also help us with our apostolate by liking our video and sharing the video with your friends and colleagues. And we encourage you to enroll your November Mass intentions. If you have any deceased relatives, you can watch a video on the end screen and there you can see how to enroll intentions, particularly for your deceased relatives in this time November, special month where we pray for those who have gone before us.